Yeah, I've seen Yatesy put his body through all sorts of torture and uh, and he can take some pain. You know, I'm starting to get pretty worried. Oh, it's hurt. So I'm trying to keep Chanel calm. But I'm pretty sure it's broken. There's someone drowning down in backpackers. Pretty much a daily occurrence at Bondi. What's the number now? Oh, I know, that's a 10. Everything from blue bottle stings, <laughs> sea urchins. Got a couple of them in there. People falling over on flat rock. I call this one the cheese grater. Oh, it's pretty nasty, man. Stubbed toes, sunburn, people getting dumped, broken arms, broken leg. Ah. Just dislocated everything. <laughs> Spinals, you know. <laughs> and a bit of everything down here. Yeah, so when someone's in agony, there's always one lifeguard seems to pop up. And that person's pretty much Yatesy. Nah, just relax. Breathe, breathe. 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 He seems to be at every first aid or every incident that someone's whinging about pain. And lucky for them, he's very sympathetic. He seems to be able to... Like, it's his personality, he's so nice and friendly and loves everyone. She touched the, the Brucey weed uh, in the line of the, uh, just beach. Slowly breathe. That's it, just breathe slowly. It's OK. Yeah? What's your name? What's your name? Okay. Where, are you, where are you from? Uh, from Japan. From Japan? Yeah. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's gonna die. She actually does. Do you think you're gonna, not gonna die? <laughs> okay. I'd probably call Yatesy the Mother Teresa of our service. He's just forever healing people and making people feel better. <laughs> Rico needed was a lie down, a bit of TLC, and um, away she went. If you grow up in the eastern suburbs, Bronnie Bondi, chances are you're going to follow the roosters. You join the lifeguard service, that passion for the roosters becomes a little bit fanatical. Everyone loves them. And, uh, you know, they're the best team going around. Go the Chookies. They played last night and they're having a bit of a recovery session, so we just organise a few boards and take them out. They get in the water, sort of loosen the body up and try and enjoy themselves, catch a few waves. Where's surfers? This is all I know how to do is just hold it. <laughs> Who are the Roosters? Well, they're the best rugby league team in Australia. They're from Bondi and I've been supporting them since I was a kid. We'll just go straight front here. We've been training hard, so we got down here and get our local area and have a bit of a surf and have a bit of fun with the boys. Look at him over the falls. There'll be a couple of, there'll be a couple of rescues at yeah. point in the day. Yeah, for sure. Always concerned, um, as much as excited when the roosters get down here. They're, you know, none of them are under 90 kilos. Most of them are 110. Chuck a couple of 14 foot boards in, and it's usually a recipe for a bit of disaster. There's about 20 roosters out of control on surfboards now. It's just good watching these like massive men go over the falls on one foot waves. It's hilarious. We go and watch them play footy and all that, and then come down here and we just own them. <laughs> <laughs> well said. It's so funny, everyone's having the time of their lives, they're having a ball out there. All 
of a sudden, someone comes run up to the buggy. Unfortunately, one of the Bristers has rammed their rescue board straight into Yates' ribs. And we were all having a bit of a laugh at Yates' expense, as mates do, but by the time we started to sort of assess him, I realised that it was pretty bad. Yates, do you want the whistle through? Oh, I don't know, mate. Oh. Is it one of them, what? Oh, dear. It was one of ours. Gun. Oh. My gun. Oh. Yeah, I've seen Yatesy put his body through all sorts of torture and uh, and he can take some pain. You know, I'm starting to get pretty worried. Oh, oh, oh Corey, it's killing me, mate. Oh, it's killing me. Are you cold or just pain? Oh, Corey, it's killing me, mate. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, just okay. keep going, mate. It's spinning me out. That's broken. Oh. We're gonna have to get in there, but No, it's wait. Yeah, we've got the Roosters NRL team down here doing a recovery training session, and unfortunately, one of the players has accidentally skewed his board straight into Yates' ribs. He's in hell of a lot of pain. Oh. I reckon it's broken. It'll be pushing on the, on the lines. Yeah, he's going to be pushing on the line. Get out of it. Yates, he doesn't want an ambulance. Um, I guess he sees himself as a little bit tough for an ambulance, but the pain he's in right now is we don't have any other options. Oh, I can't see still. The roosters started just filing into the room one after the other, and big Sonny Bill and Jad Rear Hargraves. It looked weird to see him like that. Normally you see him smashing people, and this time they were being really compassionate. What is it, Rib? Yeah? yeah. He was catching the wave, <laughs> and he was going fast. And this point, as soon as he came up by the waters, he hit him straight in the chest, like full speed. The surfboard? Yeah, the point. Who was it? <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is. See your runner. See your runner. <laughs> oh, mate. Sorry for that, bro. He'll <laughs> 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 be right, mate. Just a couple of days off. Oh. He's put on a brave face, but you can tell he's in pain, mate. He's he's uh he's got the shakes going, so there's definitely something wrong. Oh. Unfortunately, we don't know the extent of the injury, but he could have punctured his lung. So when you puncture your lung, it's actually from your rib breaking, and the rib actually punctures your lung, which deflates your lung, and you cannot get any oxygen in. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, this is pretty, pretty major. Hey, mate. How you doing? Best to gotcha. Oh, man. I'm talking nine, eh? I'm not strange to pain. Keep on that, mate. I'm really worried for Yates. He, he was, uh, he's a tough guy, and he was in, in a lot of pain when he left. Yates um gone off to hospital. Anything to get off work? No. <laughs> nah, yeah, he looked super... He looked like he was in a fair bit of pain there, and Yates usually pretty tough, so... It's obviously something serious. As well as working as a lifeguard, I also work as a paramedic, so uh, I'm used to seeing my fair share of pain, but down at Bondi, lifeguarding, you see uh, pain mixed in with a bit of vanity. You have to show an Maybe. Yeah, look, I'll just bring her up to the tower. Hey, come, come and hop in the back. So I just had a report of uh, two girls tackling each other in the uh, water, and there was a big collision. It's all, you're going to be completely fine. It's all right, all right? It's, it's, not, it's not crooked or anything. So Chanel's a pretty girl. She's there with her friends. There's guys around, and she thinks she's broken her nose. I told you, it's not crooked. It's not crooked. It's not crooked. It's not crooked. So for a girl like that, worst case scenario. It's straight. It's not crooked. It's not crooked. 
It's completely fine. Look, I'm a paramedic as well, and I've seen heaps of bad broken noses, yeah. and that's not one of them. So I'm trying to keep Chanel calm. We don't even know if it's broken at the moment, it's just bleeding. But I'm pretty sure it's broken.